Have you ever had someone do something super nasty to you? Like, where did that come from? Or if you're like me, have you ever done something super nasty to somebody else? And like, man, where did that come from? Well, I'm confident today's reading and encouragement will help you all uh, kind of navigate where it comes from and kind of navigate um, who, who and how to fix your eyes on him so that, so that you can continue the mission. Because here's the thing. People have trash. I have trash. And we need God who, who loves us to help us through these things. Let's jump into our, our verse verse of today. It's uh, found in Isaiah, or, uh, Exodus 16, uh, verse 2 through 3. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat, ate all the food we wanted, but you have brought us out into the desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Whoa. Okay, so they're not, not, not more than four weeks uh, post-slavery, 400 years of it, and they're grumbling against the guy who led them through the Red Sea. I mean, obviously, God did it, but Moses is clearly out to save them and help them. And if they don't know that, they, you know, obviously Moses even killed somebody to help them. Mind-boggling to see the distrust of, of Israel immediately uh, just conjure up. But that's the flesh, right? They're, people have trash, and they're looking for somebody to dump it on. They whine, they bicker, they're, they're concocting a story that even says, Hey, Moses, you're out to kill us. Isn't that mind-boggling? Uh, Moses is literally saving them, and, and they instead concoct a story of killing. Um, and, and what happens is Israel blames Moses and Aaron instead of blaming God. And you're like, well, well, well yeah, that's the safest route. No, no, no. The safer route is to blame God because at least you can digest it with him, and at least he can receive it, and at least... You're actually putting a subconscious trust in the one who is sovereign over all things. And uh, I, I love that encouragement. Uh, I think that's so powerful. But I, I'm, I'm super thankful that God has reminded me that no matter what happens, and hopefully reminding you today that no matter what happens, you can walk people through the Pacific Ocean and save them. And, 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 and people are still going to dump trash on you. And uh, it's important that we fix our eyes on Him and understand that people have sin and people have trash in their lives and they're looking for a dumping ground. You don't have to receive all this trash. You can separate yourself from it. You can be angry. You should be angry at some of it, and that's okay. You know, the Voice of a Heart is an amazing book about your emotions. Sometimes as Christians, I feel like we beat ourselves up about being angry or being shameful and all these things. No. Those emotions can be used for good. It's what you do out of those emotions that ultimately will be a sin or be okay. And, and, and God's going to help you discern that, walk through that. So it's people with their own trash in, in your life. And by the way, Christians are part of this as well. Once again, I'm raising my hand first. I want to I immediately go point at other people, but oh, my flesh is so nasty talking about this. Uh, I'm, I'm the one that, that, that attacks people. I'm the one that puts my trash on my wife and my kids, and, and I'm the one that puts my trash on my colleagues at work. I'm the one that puts the trash on my friends. So I, as, as I do that, and as Christians and non-believers do that to you, don't respond with the same trash. Don't respond with revenge. Revenge is God's, and, and ultimately, it's not your problem. 99% of the time, you have nothing to do with their trash. So so don't take it personally. Because of my hand here, I, I take everything personally because I, I don't know, I live a short life, and I want to maximize my relationships and, and, and influence for the kingdom, and that's just the way I am. God's doing a good work in my life, and he's working on that in my heart. Um, but I, I want to conclude with this and a, and a challenge to us. Remember, you have a father that cares for you. I love my, my firstborn, Sophia. She's unbelievable. She's, she's fearless. She's adventurous. She's, um, um, she loves the Lord. And, and, and sometimes she, as a firstborn and in this independence, she says, I, Daddy, I got it. Let me do it. Let me do it. And ultimately, sometimes we let her do it. 
And as a result, failure happens. And, and really what should have happened is she should have allowed us to help her. So in that process, you know, I love connecting it to God, right? So we oftentimes as Christians say, hey, no, no, God, I got it. I got it. And there's, there's my wife, of course, out there prepping the school bags, being a champion mom. <laughs> Go wife, crushing it. And, and ultimately, uh, we have to remind ourselves that we don't got it. We don't got it. I don't got it. I need God every day. And one of my favorite prayers I say with my girls every morning is, Hey, God, we need you. We can't do today without you. And though my flesh doesn't mean it, my spirit does. Uh, so I'm going to continue to say it until I lock into that statement more and more and more. Because Psalms 103.13 says this, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. And uh, 2 Corinthians 6.18 says this, And I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Remember, today today is Tuesday. Identity Day for my family to pray over them as, as gods. I surrender my children to God. I surrender my wife to God. I surrender myself to God. I'm his son. She's my wife's, uh, his daughter. My, my daughters are his first. And, and that puts things in perspective for me. Remember, let's not be like Israel and throw our trash on other people. Let's present our trash to God. Let Him deal with it. And as people present trash to us, let's do the same thing. Let's obviously stand up for those that are bullying other people and are defenseless and helpless. But 99% of the time for yourself personally, don't take it personal. Pray for them, move forward, and, and, and realize and understand that God has more he's working in your life working behind the scenes stay obedient stay faithful you can do it